magandang araw. I hope everyone who is watching this video is safe, healthy, and happy. So today, we shall have a brief discussion about uh, fuels. It is common knowledge that fuels are substances that produce heat and light energy on burning. They are used for cooking, for heating, to run automobiles, and in generation of electricity. According to Gujar, fuels are essentially materials containing stored energy that can be released as heat by the oxidation reaction of combustion. So we have here two examples of uh, combustion reactions. So the first one is the combustion reaction of methane, so methane plus oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water as well as heat. The second one shows the reaction between propane and oxygen. So we have propane plus oxygen also producing carbon dioxide and water and heat. So notice that in both cases, we see carbon dioxide, water, and heat as products. Now, based on the state at room temperature, fuels can be classified as solid, liquid, or gas. So, we have here examples for solid fuels like wood. No, we normally see wood being used as fuel when cooking at home. No? So, yung tinatawag na panggatong no? sa pagluluto. Coal is also a solid fuel. Coal is actually a sedimentary rock. No? It is considered to be as a a fossil fuel because it came from living living things, living organisms which underwent anaerobic decomposition over millions of years. Charcoal is also another solid fuel. Charcoal is the product of the incomplete burning of wood. So, ito sa Tagalog ay tinatawag nating uling. Now, for liquid fuels, we have kerosene petrol and diesel so collectively called petrol or crude oil so if coal is a solid fuel petrol or crude oil is a liquid fossil fuel so this is actually petrol is actually a mixture of hydrocarbons no when we say hydrocarbons these are compounds containing carbon and uh, hydrogen so Kerosene and diesel belong to the group, no, the, the part of uh, if you if you uh, have petrol undergo fractional distillation, so it is composed of several fractions or parts. Uh, kerosene and diesel belong to the middle part, and pro propane and butane belong to the group which. Uh, have a lower boiling point. No? So, kerosene and this kerosene is also known as jet fuel. Diesel is used to run uh, vehicles. Now, for gaseous fuels, we have LPG, which is liquid, liquefied petroleum gas, normally propane and butane. So, ito yung nakikita natin sa bahay na ginagamit sa pagbubuto, yung nakalagay sa tanke. No? So, normally, propane or butane. So, we also have biogas. So, biogas is actually a mixture of gases produced by anaerobic decomposition also, anaerobic breakdown of uh, living organisms. No, uh, Normally, biogas is composed of methane and uh, carbon dioxide. Now, hydrogen is also a fuel and CNG or compressed natural gas. Compressed natural gas is actually methane which is reduced to 1% of its original volume. So, for example, under normal uh, standard temperature and pressure, we have this volume of methane. If we apply pressure of around 3000 PSI, so that the original volume is reduced to 1%, then we have uh, CNG or compressed natural gas, which is, uh, according to literature, is one of the safest no, uh, fuels. So it can be used at home no, because it does not uh, cause uh, pollution. It, it does not inject pollutants in the atmosphere. 
Now, here are some salient points which we need to consider. Not all combustible substances can be used as fuels for all applications. No, certain fuels can be used for a particular uh, objective or purpose. Now, although all fuels produce heat and light on burning, some produce more energy than others. No? This has something to do with the calorific values which we shall discuss later on. And besides the amount of energy produced, the choice of fuel, whether for domestic or industrial use, also depends upon its cost, efficiency, availability, and the extent of pollution it causes. And because of that, it is safe to surmise that there, there are characteristics of good fuels. So we have here uh, nine characteristics of good, good fuel. So number one, a good fuel should have high calorific values. A calorific value is actually the amount of heat which can be produced when one gram of a fuel is burned. Okay? So the higher calorific value, the better. So for example, we have two kinds of fuels and you have the same mass of those two fuels. The one which uh, gives the higher amount of uh, heat, you know, the one which will produce more heat considering the same mass, is, is considered to be one which has a higher calorific value and is considered to be a better fuel. So again, uh, the higher calorific value, the better. A good fuel also has to have moderate ignition temperature. Okay, If the ignition temperature is lower than the room temperature, for example, it is quite dangerous because the fuel could catch fire easily. If on the other hand it has a high ignition temperature, we would need we would need more heat to start combustion. So a good fuel should have moderate ignition temperature. A good fuel also should have low moisture content because we know very well that moisture interferes with combustion. It should, a good fuel also should have low ash content. Ash actually is a solid residue which could pose health risks to users and could uh, cause pollution to the environment. A good fuel also should have moderate velocity of combustion and in the process, the release of heat should be controlled. Imagine ninyo naman kung ang bilis-bilis ng pagsindi niya, di ang bilis-bilis din niyang mawawala. A good fuel should not produce harm, harmful products for obvious reason. No? Hindi dapat nagkakos ng pollution. Number seven, it should be at low cost. No? Uh, a fuel which is fairly expensive and not readily available will not be practical to be of use on a daily basis. So, it should be of low cost. A good fuel should also be easily stored and transported no, for practical purposes and it should easily be controllable so we could use the fuel for a specific purpose. So, this is the definition of calorific value, a discussion which I mentioned earlier. So, we have here comparison of calorific values of some few wells, no? solid and uh, liquid and gas. Okay? So, notice that the first row has cow dung cakes to be of the lowest calorific value. So, yung cow dung, yung mga manure ng baka, no? na ginagawang pabilog yan at ginagawang uh, few well. So, it has a low calorific value at 7. So, wood pellets at 17. Notice that hydrogen has the highest calorific value at 150 kilojoule per gram. Kasi yung mga ginagamit natin sa bahay na LPG ay 50, around 50 kilojoule per gram. Okay? So, petrol at 47 and kerosene at 48. So, if hydrogen has the highest calorific value, is it safe to say that hydrogen is the best fuel? 
Now, hydrogen is considered the best fuel if the calorific value is involved since it has the highest calorific value. However, it is highly inflammable. What do we mean when we say inflammable? So, a material is inflammable if, uh, if it undergoes combustion without ignition. Okay? So, pareho din siya ng flammable at inflammable. So, nasusunog sila. They undergo combustion. Pero itong inflammable, even without ignition. So, mas delikado yun. So, because of that, there are difficulties associated with the transport of hydrogen, its storage, and handling. And therefore, because of that, it is only used as a fuel where it is absolutely necessary. For example, as a rocket fuel. Now, methane and LPG as fuels have fairly high calorific values like what we noticed earlier, around 50. No? They burn with a smokeless fire and therefore do not cause pollution. And they are therefore ideal for domestic use. What about petrol and diesel as fuels? Both petrol and diesel are mainly used in automobiles. Their main disadvantage is their limited availability. So, petrol and diesel uh, are examples of non-renewable energy. So, pag naus naubos yung kinukuha, uh, no, dinidrill no, sa ilalim ng dagat, eh, li, wala na, unavailable na siya. Another disadvantage is that their combustion releases harmful gases in the atmosphere. So, uh, I hope that the quick discussion that, that we had allowed you to have uh, a good grasp of fuels and would uh, empower you, no? would allow you to choose among the fuels available for your particular purpose. Thank you very much. See you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy.